little thing right here that has the product. So, it is very, very, very skinny. It looks like you can't even see it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do uh, a full face of Shop Miss A makeup. I believe I did buy uh, all of the pieces for a full face today. So Shop Miss A, I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit about it. I have shopped there a few times before and it is very cheap. Everything there is like a dollar or like a dollar fifty five or they have like bundles, you know, costing like maybe ten dollars. Okay, so if you go on their website and you see their Paw Paw collection, which is really cute, um, it's $1.55 for all of the items. And it says that they will donate towards animals against abuse and neglect. So that's really good. If So if you want to, you know, buy from their website and want to donate, maybe you can buy from um, the Paw Paw collection. They also have another collection called A+. Plus which all of the items cost $1.88 and it says part of the proceeds from the A-plus collection are donated to children's education locally and all over the road. So that's really nice of Shop Miss A to do. So they sell things like makeup brushes, lashes, self-care, um, I believe like face masks and all that, uh, makeup of course, jewelries, hair accessories, and just a little bit more like stationary items and yeah other things so I'm gonna get right into it I forgot how long it took probably about like two weeks or so it came in this pretty pink package and I'm just gonna open it up and then it's bubble wrapped here's all the goodies all the makeup that I got I forgot to mention, but um, all of these items costed $35, which is a really great price because makeup is really expensive. <laughs> I got their microfiber wonder blender from the Paw Paw collection. I've never tried a microfiber beauty blender before, so I'm just gonna open this. I actually bought two makeup blender. This is also from their Paw Paw collection. It's the Wonder Blender. It's the pink one. It's regular. I just wanted to try both of them. Maybe I'll do like half of my face with this one and then half of it with the other sponge because I yeah just want to try them all out. This one is like fuzzy. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it has like a flat edge on this side and then it's just a teardrop all around. So if you can see like the texture of it, it looks weird. See that flat edge? Ooh, it's so spongy already. It's like a pretty bright pink color, which is a really pretty color. Also, lilac is a pretty color. So this is side by side. I haven't wet them yet, but I will. Oh, okay. It is making a mess, but I just realized that the bronzer, the shimmer bronzer that I was so excited for because I read all of the reviews, it is shattered, but I know there's a way to fix that with alcohol, I think, so I'm gonna um, try to do that, but not not right now, not today. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, this is um, Sun Glow Shimmer Bronzer from, I don't know how to say that, G-I-O-V-I, -I, but I'm just gonna put that to the side because it's like really messy. It got my hand all messy. Oh my goodness, that is, that is pretty pigmented and... Um, dark. Anyways, they packaged the foundation again in um, their little baggie. These are their AOA Studio A Plus Charity uh, Beautiful Satin Foundation. I bought two shades because these, they're in a glass container. A dropper? Is it called a dropper? I don't know. So I got two colors, Fair Ivory and Pure Beige because I wasn't sure um, which shade I am. I'm still not sure until we put it on. See, this seems a little bit too dark for me. And then, I don't know, this one looks pretty okay. Fair ivory, but I'm like not that light. Maybe I am since quarantine started and I haven't, you know, been out anywhere in the sun. It's in like a matte glass and it has 0 0.64 ounce in them, which is a little less than um, 
regular foundation, but that's okay because they're only $1.88. And then the next thing I got was, what is this? Oh, concealer. Right? So the next thing I got is this liquid concealer. It's from their Paw Paw collection. So I bought a lot of items from their Paw Paw collection and A Plus collection because I did want it to help their charity. I bought this in porcelain because a lot of my concealer that I've bought online, they're all like dark on me. So I didn't want to make the same mistake. So if you guys can hear my dog in the background, he's barking at people outside, I think. I don't know, I'm not sure. But I'm just gonna continue. Hopefully it's not distracting. Um, so yeah, I bought this porcelain, probably the lightest, if not one of the lightest color in their con liquid concealer because every concealer that I bought online were like always too dark for me. So I didn't want to make the same mistake. This is in a squeezy tube. So I got their AOA Studio Wonder Skin Illuminating Primer. And it's also just in a squeezy tube. I have tried their uh, mattifying primer before and I don't know. Honestly, for me, I still kind of feel like primers don't do anything, but I'm pretty sure they do. That's why I am, um, yeah, just trying it out. So it's also in a squeezy tube. Oh yeah, and also I just forgot to mention, but their AOA Studio is actually, I'm, I believe, Shop Miss A's brand of makeup. And on their page, from like a lot of reviews and stuff that I've, I've read, AOA Studio makeup uh, is like the better quality makeup on their website. So I also bought this setting spray. It is uh, the A Plus Charity. It says, high definition, non-drying, matte finish. Locks in makeup. I don't know why I wanted a matte finish. I don't like matte finishes anymore. But anyways, it's in a pink bottle, which is really cute because I do like the color pink. It has 2.5 fluid ounces. Forgot to mention, but the um, primer has 0.67 fluid ounces. And the concealer has 0.34 ounces. Just in case you guys wanted to know. Um, I also bought a liquid eyeliner, their AOA Studio line. It has 0.17 fluid ounces. I also got their um, A Plus AOA Studio line, uh, their lash adhesive, lash glue. And it is waterproof, hypoallergenic, no irritation, and it's clear. A lot of good reviews on it. It has 0.17 fluid ounces. I also bought their blush, AOA Studio Perfect Blush in the color Dandy. Oh, it's in a twisting bottle. Not bottle, twisting. Well, it twists off. It's just like a like copper pink, I think. That's how you would describe it. I don't know, I'm not sure. And it is matte. And then I got their AOA Studio Velour Highlighter in the color Sometimes. It's just like a champagne color. I also bought another um, highlighter from them. It's the Halo Highlighter from their AOA Studio line in the color Sunstone. In the color Sunstone. It's like champagne with some gold. I don't know if you can see that. It's very pretty. And I also bought their Amuse Cosmetic Matte Liquid Lipstick. It's not the AOA Studio. It's, yeah, just another brand that they sell on their website. I don't know if it'll match me, but we'll see. It's just like a um, like a pink matte liquid lipstick. Got their um, Skinny AOA Studio in black. Their Skinny Mascara. First, I thought it looked... Oh, maybe it is this way. Yeah. Who loves peeling the plastic things off new items? I only like it when it comes off all in one, not like when it gives me a difficult time, because who likes a difficult time? Okay, yeah, just like I suspected, I would think that this side would have the, the um, product in it, but then it's this little thing right here that has the product. So it is very, very, very skinny. It looks like you can't even see it. It looks very, very... Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, It looks very, very, very skinny. But yeah, that might be good for my under lashes because they're very short. Also my upper lashes too, so... I wasn't expecting that. And then I got their Dark Brown AOA Studio Slim Brow Pencil with 0 0.04 ounces. This side has a spoolie. 
And then, of course, the other side is the product. And it's very skinny. I haven't tried, um, like, eyebrow pencils that are skinny. Well, I'm, like, not used to eyebrow pencils. Because I don't really use eyebrow pencils. But I wanted to try it out because it's something different. And then I also bought this Lumi Radiant blush um, from AOA Studio. I just kind of wanted to try out different blushes and highlighters. So this one is actually shimmery. And it looks like this. It is in the color Sin. And then I just bought um, their AOA Studio 3D Faux Minx uh, Premium Natural Lashes in Amanda. I kind of wanted to try like a natural lash, so that's why I picked that one up. And then I also bought their brush just to try out. This is their AOA Studio E116. It's like a angled brush. It's really small. It's really small. I bought it for, you know, my eyebrows because I feel like I needed a new one. So this isn't makeup, but then, um, like I said, they do sell a like jewelries and accessories so I just bought their golden chunky hoops because I don't have any and I wanted to see if I like them and then last but not least I bought their um, 25 color eyeshadow palette this is also their AOA studio collection it is the violets are blue palette and it's very pretty now I think this costs ten dollars but it has 25 sh eyeshadow in here so that's why it costs uh, ten dollars so it comes out of the sleeve and then it looks like this very pretty the back is like this with their little logo there and down here it says violets are blue so I kind of wanted like a colorful eyeshadow palette this is plastic up here but that's nice and then they have a plastic cover so I'm going to throw that away. So I kind of wanted a palette that has like, you know, colorful colors and also natural colors. And I've been really into purples lately. And I don't really have that in my collection. So I have purples and blues. So they have blues up here. They have shimmer and matte colors. And then they have purple. They have like a green olive color. And then some tan and some brown. And then that's a shimmy shimmy that's a, a shimmery white color right there oh so yeah i'm actually excited to play with all of these makeup i'm not sure if that seemed like a lot of makeup for to you guys but that was a long haul for me so i bought all of those items from shop miss a and the total was 35 dollars and a few cents i forgot the yeah i'll just put the price on the side again i'm very excited to see how all of the makeup perform because you know they're all just a dollar a piece. I just wanted to know if you guys like um, to watch a long video because I wasn't sure. That that's why I was thinking of cutting this video short here and then making another video of me putting on the makeup or if you guys just you know like to watch a long uh, video because personally I don't mind watching a long video but I wasn't sure because I do know that you know sometimes it gets um, like tiring because it's such a long video i'm not sure just let me know in the comments down below so for like future videos i can just you know make a long video of something like this or make two separate videos so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys